that I have already said the most amazing time you will ever spend is the first five minutes after you die. Man is the only creature that knows he's going to die and he's trying desperately to forget the fact that he's going to die. And if you mention death, there are people who will get a little nervous and they will change the subjects very much like you do with your uh, channel changer on television. They don't want to think about death. is a real place. Men may laugh and they may make jokes about the existence of such a place as hell. Natural instinct is either to ignore it, to not think about it whatsoever, or to deny it. face God and I'm going to face him. I'm going to have to give an account for the way I preach. I'd much rather God say to me, Adrian, when you preached on hell, you took my word too literally. I'd much rather him say that to me than, Adrian, when you preached on hell, you explained it away. And you did not take my word serious. I'm going to preach it like God wrote it. Like God wrote it. Here is a man who said, I am tormented in this flame. Don't water that down. Don't try to explain that away. It's a place of sensual misery. It's a place of emotional misery. In verse 25, Abraham says to this rich man, Son, Remember, you will carry your memory to hell. Psychologists tell us we never, never forget anything. Nothing. You say, oh, I forgot many things. They're there stored in your brain. Push the right button, they'll come back. You go to hell, you will remember. You will remember every lie you ever told. Every dirty joke. Every time you took God's name in vain, every gray hair you gave your mother, every wrinkle you pinched in your father's brow, you will remember. You will remember that people prayed for you and begged you and pled with you to come to Christ. Who's going there? Who's going to hell? All right, the Pharisees said to Jesus, Lord, are there few that are going to be saved? Now listen to me quickly, clearly. I'm going to make a statement, listen to it. The majority of mankind is going to hell. I'll say it again. The majority of the population of the earth is going to hell. You look at New York City. Oh, by the way, they asked Jesus that. Are there going to be many that be saved? You know what Jesus said? Listen to me. 
Enter in. He's answering this question. Enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many there be which are going to in their end. But straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth to life and few there be that will find it. Few. The majority are going to hell. Do you know that there were only four people saved out of Sodom and Gomorrah? Lot and his wife and his two daughters? Do you know when God destroyed the earth there were only eight souls saved? The Bible says, 1 Peter 3.20, where in, where in few, that is, only eight souls were saved by water. Only eight souls were saved out of the whole population of the world. John wrote, and we know that we are of God, and the whole world lies in darkness. The whole world lies in darkness. All right, who's going to hell? First of all, I said the majority of the population is going to hell. And then the Revelation, would you turn to Revelation 21, 8? Uh, uh, it, it, uh, these are the obvious ones who are going to hell. Then we'll go to the ones who are not so obvious. I'm not going to, I'm going to preach one hour tonight. But you're going to get this good. Who's going to hell? I wonder if you're going to find, if you find yourself in this list. Oh, God, put His holy fear in your heart. Bring you to repentance tonight. 21.8 But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, so what? Have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Don't wait. What would you do if God... Or if Jesus came back and you say, but God, I was going to come. I was going to come up. And it would be too late. <laughs> Think about that, y'all. Don't wait. Don't wait. Just come up. It's not worth it. God has prepared a place. It was prepared originally for the devil and his angels. And... It is a place prepared by God where the damned of all ages will suffer the full indignation, the wrath, the anger, the torment, the pain, all that a Creator God can imagine in His fine, infinite mind. God is creating, God has created a hell of torment, indignation for His wrath. And boy, when I begin to see this, it's changed my whole concept of hell. It's changed the way I preach it. You say, how could a loving Jesus create a hell so horrible it's beyond imagination where his full wrath for eternity is going to be spent on the ungodly and the sinful? Jesus warned about this over and over again. Jesus preached hell more than any Pentecostal Baptist preacher on the face of the earth. He preached it to his friends. Now I'm going to take you to the scriptures, don't, don't turn, just follow me. I'm going to take you to Luke 12, 5. Listen to what Jesus said to his friends. He's not talking to prostitutes and alcoholics now. He's talking to his disciples. Listen to what he said. And I say unto you, my friends, do not be afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more power in what they can do. But I'll tell you who you shall fear. Fear him which after he's killed the body has power to cast you into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Who said that? Jesus said that. Folks, if Jesus said it, I have a right to preach it. Every preacher in America should be preaching because Jesus preached it. He preached it to his friends. He preached it to those who were saved. He said, I'll tell you who to fear. Fear him who after you're dead, he can cast you into hell. Fear him. Jesus was first to warn in hell fire. He said in Matthew 5, 22, that whosoever shall say thou fool shall be in danger of hell fire. Jesus called it a danger. Be in danger. Be warned. Jesus taught it's better to cut off your right arm or you cut out your right eye than to become a God of hell. He said if your eye offends you, cut it out. If your eye, your, 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 your